doing bad this time of time. Okay, uh, try closing. Um, it doesn't end out right. Well, you've filmed for 10 minutes so far. We'll see what we got. I have? Yeah. You've been talking for 10 minutes and 40 seconds. So just kind of close and we'll see what we got. Am I done talking about my vegetarian stuff? Oh, you still want to continue with that? Yeah. Okay. Talk about, which I found interesting, things that you do miss and why, like certain foods, be specific. Because a lot of people think vegetarians, once they become vegetarian, they just, they don't care about meat at all anymore. They don't have the temptation, they don't have the craving. Reveal part of that what it's like to become a vegetarian after not being one and the kind of frustrations you've come across like ah why you know yeah. i really like the i really want a flavor like this but i can't find that so okay all right um okay <laughs> let's see um, okay, think, I have to think, my mind is freezing up again, and I'm trying to stay focused, okay, focus, okay, I need to start thinking about other things, um, <laughs> Where should I start? <laughs> okay, being a vegetarian, I think um, that it was hard at first, and every once in a while, it's it still can be hard because is that making sense? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> um. I don't know if that makes any sense or not. But anyway, let's see. I I still have like cravings of um you know like I used to like White Castle cheeseburgers. I still have cravings. Sometimes I even still like I know it's so weird. <laughs> Like, I will drive past, like, White Castles, and I'll see it, and, like, I will, like, want to go to White Castle, like, oh, I so want to go to White Castle, but then I keep on, then I have to remember that I'm a vegetarian, I don't eat meat, and the White Castle stuff is meat, so, it's really hard, because I used to love White Castle, like, I used to, like, cry when I couldn't go to White Castle. But now I can't go to my castle because I'm a vegetarian. But I prefer to be a vegetarian because I care about animals. Um, I just, I don't believe in taking a life. I don't care what kind of life it is. I don't believe that we should take, we should go around taking lives just because we're hungry, you know. Um. <laughs> okay, some people would argue, aren't you taking the life of a plant every time you eat it? What would you say to them? Uh, well, I haven't really did that much research on the whole idea. I mean, if there was another way I could, like, eat, um, I wouldn't even eat vegetables, so and fruit. I mean, if there's another way, I would do it. But right now, I'm sticking to not eating animals. <laughs> okay. Uh, tell them about your experiences with Thanksgiving. My experience with Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah, that was like really weird. I did like, I looked up online for Thanksgiving stuff like 
vegetarian turkey. I went to the bookstore um, looking through every book in the vegetarian area for vegetarian turkey and stuff like that. Um, it was like, yeah, it was like I spent the whole like two months even before, you know, November searching for a um, vegetarian turkey. And it wasn't until the end of like the like whenever it was like right before Thanksgiving that I actually went to the vegetarian area I usually go to to get my other vegetarian food at Kroger's and um, that's when I saw a vegetarian light -like turkey and I was like awesome it's like yeah it's like it was like a miracle or something like that. I was like, I was like, I thought I was not gonna have a Thanksgiving this Thanksgiving. So, yeah. <laughs> and I found out at the, after I found my turkey that I needed other food to go with my turkey, and um, I needed stuffing because I always have stuffing with my turkey. And I was like freaking out like. I cannot find stuffing like food, so why not? something to replace stuffing or anything. Why did you have trouble with your stuffing search? Why? Why did? Because there's all sorts of stuffings available. Why are you? Having oh yeah, um, all the stuffing uh, required um, a meat-like thing to add to it. You know, it was like. It had meat stuff in it, like um, turkey broth mixed in it or something like that. And um, it's not really vegetarian-like food. So um, then, like, looking at everywhere on the shelf, we finally looked at the bottom and the bags, which I usually look in the box for vegetarian stuff or vegeta or for stuffing. But, um, yeah, <laughs> and it was, um, okay, describe what your, your stuffing was. It was kind of like bread and just bread. Okay. Now compare that to what you, what you would find in a box and why they're different. Um, I found on the bottom shelf. <laughs> now try again. I found on the bottom sh Every time you stop, try to start up again because, yeah. Alright. All right. I found on the bottom shelf that there was a bag version of um, stuffing. And um, it was different because it didn't involve like meat like stuff it did you it's like homemade you can make it any way you want it it was just kind of bread like stuff and um that was cool because yeah um <laughs> sorry um uh, okay i'm lost again <laughs> i can't stop all right um Tell us, your audience, about some of your favorite discoveries when it came to looking for vegetarian meals, like how you came up against a dead end at Walmart but found a whole section in, at Kroger's, for instance. A what? Vegetarian meals, and you looked at Walmart, they didn't really have any, at least not when you first started. But at Kroger's is huge variety. So you're you're talking to people who might think about being a vegetarian but find it like it's impossible. Talk about what kind of problems you came up against and what you did to resolve those problems. Before or after I found my what? Alright. You had problems. What were those problems? Okay. <laughs> Not stupid, by the way. Um, I'm looking. Wait, wait. Why am I looking? 
Okay. <laughs>